We are now going to look at section 6 quad. Now section 6 quad is a section that applies if you have foreign income and you are paying tax in South Africa on that as well as in a foreign country. Now remember if you are a resident you are taxed on your worldwide income. So that means if you income, earn income from South Africa or if you in, earn income from a foreign source that needs to be included in your gross income. Now, we've seen that there are things like double tax agreements where it tells you which country will claim or charge the tax. But it might be that there is no double tax agreement available, so there might not be a relationship between South Africa and that specific country, which can then lead to a situation where you include an amount in your worldwide income in South Africa and get taxed on it, but that you've also paid tax in a foreign country. So that would mean that you're paying tax twice on the same amount. Section 6 quad is there to help this and provide some relief for the amount. So very important what I want you to understand is that if an amount is exempt from South African tax, then there's no South Africa 6 quad application. So in other words, if it's a foreign dividend, for example, which is 100% exempt, and even if you are paying tax in a foreign country, you will not apply it. So this is important in B the amount must be taxable in SA and foreign taxes were paid. Make sure you see guys both those requirements must be met. So you must ask yourself is this taxable and were foreign taxes paid, then we will apply Section 6 Quat. Now, I've just included this Section 6 Quat. Please pay attention to your SICA ITC exam pronouncements. There are two parts to it. There's a rebate section and a deduction section. The deduction section is no longer in your syllabus. I deliberately include it here because I want you to be able to just compare the two and just understand. The rebate, which is the one which we are focusing on, is when an amount is paid in South Africa and there are foreign taxes. Important that was the income must not be from a South African source. So for example foreign dividends. Then you get this rebate. And this is deducted from your normal tax payable. The deduction is if you are carrying on trade in South Africa but and you earn income from a South African source but for some reason that is taxed in a foreign country. So for example let's say in South Africa I sell things to people in Nigeria and the Nigerian tax law says as, as long as you transact with a, a Nigerian, they must be taxed in Nigeria. Okay, that would be the application there. That would be a deduction from your taxable income because it's like a cost incurred in the ex, uh, production of income. So that is not examinable. So what I want you to see is we are only looking at this and understand from the start that this is a deduction against your normal tax payable, not your taxable income. What does that mean? You will calculate the taxable income like you have been doing so far. So you add amounts in and out and it calculates the taxable income. You will then apply the tax on that amount. The section 6 quad rebate is deducted from this tax amount. It's important to see it's not a deduction over there. So where they catch students out all the time is they ask you in a question to do the taxable income calculation. And then you see all of this information which is relevant for the calculation of the section 6 quad and you try and do that calculation as well. Which you shouldn't because you should have stopped at this point. So everything after that is ignored. Okay, so understand where it sits guys. There. So you will only do the section 6 quad if they ask you for the normal tax payable. Okay, so this is a, just a discussion on the mechanics of the calculation. It's very simple when you see how it works. Okay, so first of all, the amount of foreign taxes which you can claim as a deduction on the 6 squat is limited to the normal tax that is payable on it. In other words, you can't deduct more foreign taxes than the amount of South African taxes you've paid. So the idea is, if you're paying 20,000 rands South African tax and your foreign tax on that was 25,000, you can only deduct the 20,000. Because that is the amount that is taxed twice. If 
in South Africa, it was 25,000. And it was, let's just say, 28,000 in a foreign country. You use the 25. If it's the other way around, so let's say it is 25 in South Africa and 20 in the foreign country, you use the 20. So you always use the lower of the two, basically. If there's any foreign taxes which you're not allowed to claim this year, you'll carry it forward to the next year. Right, um, the amount of foreign income is included, uh, it is calculated, taking into account all of the exemptions and deductions allowable to it. Right, it's very simple, you'll see if you look at it. And I'll make a comment here, please note that when we are determining the amount of foreign taxes paid, we do not consider section 10b3, which is the foreign dividend section. Okay, and that you'll see when I explain it. In a, in a question. Right, the foreign tax, so you paid an amount of a thousand dollars for example, how, my, how do we translate that into rands? Now you'll remember when you looked at foreign transactions, section 25 details you want to apply. However, you need to be careful here. Section 6 quad 4 has a specific rule on it. It says, for the purpose of this section, the amount of any foreign tax proved to be payable in respect of any amount which is included in the taxable income of a resident, shall be translated to the currency of the Republic on the last day of the year by applying the average exchange rate for that year of assessment. Be careful, we are very used to applying the spot rate. You need to know that you have to apply the average exchange rate here. Now guys, what information do you need to calculate section 6 quad? So everything here, these big bullet points, these are the three amounts that you basically need. You need to know what is the total of my foreign income, what is the total foreign taxes paid, and what is the normal tax that I paid in South Africa. And then we have some steps. Step one, determine the net amount of the foreign income. What portion of tax is payable on that in the foreign income, right? And how much of it did we pay in South Africa? What is the foreign taxes? And then you use the lower of the two amounts. So let me explain very briefly Let's say we had foreign income of 100,000 rands and the foreign tax on that was 15,000 rands. And then let's say we have South African income of 200,000. Okay, so very simple example, but if you understand this principle, all of it works the same. So it works as follows. So now you'll say foreign income. So this is now my calculation. Foreign income, world, with tax on worldwide income, so we include it. Let's assume there's no exemption. South African income, 200,000. Okay? Gives us a 300,000 rands taxable income. So far, so good. The tax on that in South Africa, let's assume that this is a company. It doesn't matter if it's a company or a natural person. For a natural person, you just calculate the tax according to tax tables. But for companies, at 28%. Right, so 84,000 rands. Now, we'll see, so we've paid 84,000 rands total taxes in South Africa, and we've paid foreign taxes of 15,000 rands. Now, we will do the Section 6 quite rebate. Okay, so I'm just going to move it a little bit down just to show you. So, Step 1 says... What is the, foreign, the net amount of the foreign income? Okay, so I'm going to just do it here. Total foreign income. Now, they ask for the net amount because if there was an exemption, you would use the net amount. Okay, but the total foreign income, 100,000 rands. Then, what is the tax that we paid in South Africa on that? So, how much of this 84,000 rands is because of that? Now, how do we calculate that? Right, I know you, it seems simple that you can just say 100,000 times 28% gas. But for a natural person, this tax tables is not as easy. This is how we do it. You say, how much is a tax on this? So we're talking about this foreign income. So you take 100,000 rands. You say, my foreign income over my total income, taxable income, times the actual taxes paid. So that gives you your percentage. Okay, and it adds up to 28,000 rands, which is the same as 100,000 times the percentage. So that's correct. 
Again, I want you to follow this process. If there's a company, you can do the shortcut. But you have to know there's a company. If it's a small business corporation or natural person, guys, you are going to have to do um, what I've done here. So I recommend just do this always. Make that for yourself the rule. Okay, 28,000 rands. The section 6 quad rebate is then the lower of 28,000 or the actual tax of 15,000. So it'll be 15,000, and that 84 minus our 15,000 means that our final tax is 69,000 rands. And that's how simple it is. If you understand what I just did here, that principle, even when they get more complicated in the examples and stuff that you'll see, it is all still the same.